Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my lash liner experience. If you haven't watched a recent video that I uploaded about doing a super crazy magnetic eyeliner hack for magnetic eyelashes, I'll leave that down below. The company contacted me that I was trying to do the hack of. They came out with a magnetic eyeliner that you can just place on your eye like regular eyeliner and then attach a magnetic eyelash strip to it and it'll stay on your eye just like glue but it's actually magnetized. I was super excited and a little shocked that they saw my video and wanted to send me their products, which I was intending to buy anyways. I'm gonna show you how I apply it and then give you a little update at the end. Here is the box of the sort of accent lash and then here is the box with the full strip lashes with the magnets on them. The eyeliner is a liquid liner and it comes in this tube so you get a lot of product. And then you get an instruction sheet here that tells you how to apply the lashes. And I'm starting off with a little bit of makeup on my eyes, some eyeshadow mascara, going straight in with the eyeliner. Again, it is just like a liquid eyeliner. And you wanna try and get as close to your lash line as possible. I am not very good at doing wing liners, so it's a little bit messy. I apologize for that, but I needed to get through this video before my kids ransacked my office. As you can see, they're in the background. <laughs> so the instructions ask you to do two coats of eyeliner and then wait about two minutes until they dry or get tacky. So I'm just speeding up the process here. And now I'm going to take the accent lashes and they have two magnets, one on either end. And you want to make sure you kind of roll them through your fingers so you can add a little bit of arch to match the shape of your eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and line up the outer magnet to the outside of my eye and then place the magnets as close as I can to the lash line until I feel like they are totally attached. Now onto the other side, rolling it again through the fingers and then placing it on the lash line. I don't normally apply lashes with my fingers. I usually use tweezers, so this is kind of new for me. I'm not a huge fan of accent lashes because my natural lashes aren't super long, so you can kind of tell the difference, but here's what they look like on. Super easy to put on, you guys. I'm not joking, it take, took just seconds. Now I'm gonna go in with a regular ink liner. This is by NYX, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my winged liner so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more polished, less, mess less messy. And here are the accent lashes, especially when I put on some eyeliner, they look a lot better on. Once again, applying them was super, super easy and quick. So hopefully I'll have the same luck with the full strip lashes. Taking them off, you just wanna be very, very gentle. Even though they're magnetic, you still wanna make sure you're not gonna pull off your own lashes. So be very gentle. Now I'm going to reapply the magnetic eyeliner where it lifted when I took off the lashes, let them dry down a little bit, and then here I go in with the full strip lashes. Up close, you can see four magnets on the lashes, which is really nice. You be careful when you pull it out of the case. I actually pulled one of the lashes up so you see that hanging off the lashes. And here I go, putting them on my eyes, trying to line it up with the shape of my eye, and you guys, it was so easy. <laughs> So super easy, I could not believe it. I did see on their Instagram page that they have different styles of lashes, a little bit more wispy, so I'm really interested in getting my hands on those. So here I go on the other side, once again, just lining it up with the shape of my eye, and so easy. All right, so here is what they look like. I do need to kind of touch up the band to make sure that you can't really see it but so far, I am loving the way they look. A little touch up with the eyeliner, I'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wear these for the rest of the day. We have a long night ahead of us with Disney on Ice with the kids, so I will check back with you guys either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so now it is the very next day. I did put back on my lash liner eyelashes. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this, but there's a, a mirror on the inside of the eyelash box, which is really cool. So I ended up wearing the full strip lashes after I put them on yesterday afternoon. I wore them the entire day. After picking up my daughter from school, we hung out at home for a little bit, and then we went to Disney on Ice, which was so much fun. With all of that moving around, hustling and bustling and everything, we didn't get home until uh, 10 o'clock 
o'clock at night. My eyelashes did a really good job of staying on. However, on this right side, on the outside, it did stick out a little bit, but thank goodness it wasn't too noticeable because I honestly didn't notice it until we got home last night. Even though I was in the bathroom and we were in the car, I didn't know that it was sticking up. So a few tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you because even though this process with the magnetic eyeliner and then the magnetic strip, it's not foolproof. So in no particular order or anything, these are just the things that I can remember off the top of my head. I was applying the lashes with my fingers and I couldn't find my tweezers that I use specifically to apply eyelashes. Um, they have like a curved edge at the bottom where it's closest to your eye. Those are my favorite tweezers and I cannot the life of me find them for me putting on the eyelashes with tweezers is a better option than just putting them on with your fingers because unlike eyelash glue when you're putting on eyelashes with the eyelash glue if you don't have it set right you can take it off it's still tacky you can put it back on you can move it around with the magnetic eyeliner you kind of have to be a little bit more precise because if you put it down and then take it off it most likely will take off the magnetic eyeliner with the lashes and it's going to be stuck on the magnets so you won't have any on your eyelid to place back the magnetic strip. So you have to make sure that it is quite precise and you don't want to move it around too much or else you'll have to reapply it. Next tip is if you're going out in public and you are wearing these magnetic eyelashes, bring this tube of magnetic eyeliner in your handbag because if you have to readjust your magnetic eyelashes out in public, there's no way for you to put them back on because again, it's going to come off so you need to have this little bad boy in your bag so that you can reapply it wherever it needs to be reapplied and then put it back on and then good to go and then also what I found is instead of just putting the magnetic eyeliner on your eyelid closest to your lash line I also put the magnetic eyeliner just a few little dots right along my lash line where the magnets would sit from the magnetic eyelash onto my natural lashes I put a little bit of that glue right on top of my lashes so that when I place it on my actual lashes it not only would magnetize to my eyelid closest to my lash line but it would also magnetize to my lashes because the magnets on the eyelashes are going to sit closest to your lash line but also on top of your regular lashes so it doesn't say that in the instructions but I found that to be a really really great tip so try that trick out another trick too that I found is if you're still having trouble with the lashes sticking onto your lids or your eyelashes I put a tiny dot of glue underneath the lashes where the magnets would sit and that way they would still kind of hug to my lashes and be magnetized so that is a, another trick here is an even better trick if you do have magnetic magnetic eyelashes that you still need to put you know one on top of the other and have them click together and you're still having trouble with that you can use this magnetic eyeliner as a guide so when you put the magnetic eyeliner on put on the lash strip and then since it's already sitting there for extra security you can take those bottom lashes with the magnets on them and stick them underneath your eyelash so there you have you know even more security with your magnetic eyelashes so that is a very cool tip I'll leave all of the information down below let me know if you have any questions at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, gathered some really good tips and tricks if you try this product out, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!